Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to NIAVS Home School. I'm Farhana Yasmin, assistant teacher of Morning Shift. Now I'm going to take a class 4, class 7. Our today's subject is Home Science and our today's topic is Chapter 1, Lesson 1 and 2, Discussion. This is lecture number 1 and homework number 1 will be given today. Okay dear students, let's look here. I know that you don't have the book yet. Okay, so we will have a general discussion today. And please download the book and read the chapters from there. So chapter 1, lesson 1 is steps of home management. So we will discuss the steps of home management in this lesson. So when we want to manage a home, we have a goals. Okay, And to achieve these goals and to reach a decision, we need to have some steps first. And these are planning, organizing, controlling and evaluating. We need to go through these steps to reach our goal and have a final decision. So at first is planning. To reach our goal at first we need to make plans and then we need to organize the activities according to the plans. And after we organize we need to control and see if everything is going okay we need to check it and then at the fourth step we need to evaluate the progress and then see if we reached our goal or not and if the proper goal is not achieved the processes can be repeated and after we reach a proper goal we can take a final decision about managing a home about the matter we near we want to take decisions okay so home management consists of some consecutive steps which are interdependent and interrelated so these steps are interdependent and interrelated so that's why we can see that it goes in a circular structure in this framework and it is essential to take decision in each step so decision making is shown as the main point in the framework of home management so this was the main point of lesson one steps of home management and how they work in making a goal and reaching decisions okay dear students let's look at lesson two here we will have a summary of lesson two lesson two is household resources at first we have the concept of resources we have to depend on different kinds of goods and services to reach our goals. So to reach our goals, we need some kind of goods and services. We use different goods and services to reach our goals. These are resources used to fulfill different needs. So to fulfill the different needs, we need, we need resources such as house, money, intelligence, etc. These are examples of resources. We use these things to reach our goals. Then let's look at some basic characteristics of resources. Number A, utility of resources. Resources have utility. We can use them to reach our goals. Number B is resource constraints. Resources are not limited. Okay, so they have constraints. They are not unlimited okay they have limits they can finished then number c interrelation of the use of resources the resources are interdependent and interrelated you have learned in the previous lesson so they are interrelated and the uses are also interrelated so they have to be used simultaneously to reach goals then Number D, transferring some resources. Some resources can be transferred, like house, money, material resources, this can be transferred. But intelligence, ta talent, this kind of resources cannot be transferred. Okay, dear students, these were some basic characteristics of resources. So these two lessons are in summary view here for you to understand the main points. But download the book and read before you get the textbook. And you have some homework today. Your homework number one will be making five MCQs 
from chapter 1 lesson 1 and 2 that we discussed today okay dear students so please download the book read the lessons and do the homework properly and submit on next saturday stay safe allah face